Three Principles of Design of Experiment Welcome to this video, where we'll be exploring the three core principles of designing an experiment. Whether you're a researcher, student, or just curious about the scientific process, understanding these principles will help you create effective and reliable experiments. So, let's dive right in. The first principle we'll discuss is randomization. Randomization is the process of assigning subjects to treatment groups in a completely random manner, ensuring that each subject has an equal chance of being assigned to any group. This helps to eliminate any potential biases or confounding variables that may affect the results of the experiment. One way to achieve randomization is through the use of random number generators or computer algorithms. These tools can help ensure that the process is truly random and that any potential biases are minimized. Keep in mind that randomization is crucial for establishing the validity and reliability of an experiment, as it helps to control for any unforeseen factors that may influence the outcome. Now, let's move on to the second principle, replication. Replication is the process of repeating an experiment multiple times in order to obtain consistent results. By conducting an experiment more than once, you can be more confident in the validity of your findings and reduce the chances of drawing incorrect conclusions due to random errors or chance occurrences. Replication can take many forms, such as repeating the entire experiment with a new set of subjects or conducting multiple trials within the same experiment. Regardless of the method, Replication helps to ensure that your results are not only reliable but also generalizable to a larger population. So, always plan for replication when designing an experiment to strengthen the reliability of your findings. The third and final principle we'll discuss is blocking. Blocking is the process of organizing your subjects into groups or blocks based on similar characteristics, such as age, gender, or any other variable that may influence the outcome of the experiment. By accounting for these variables, you can control for their effects and isolate the true impact of the treatment or intervention being studied. Blocking can be particularly useful in situations where you have limited resources or a small sample size. By strategically grouping subjects, you can maximize the efficiency of your experiment and increase the likelihood of detecting a significant effect. So, when designing your experiment, consider blocking as a method to control for potential confounding variables. Now that we've covered the three core principles of experimental design, randomization, replication, and blocking, let's briefly discuss how to implement them in practice. First, when planning your experiment, start by identifying the treatments or interventions you wish to study. Next, determine the most appropriate method of randomization and ensure that it is implemented consistently throughout the experiment. Once you've established your randomization process, consider how you can incorporate replication into your experiment. This may involve conducting multiple trials or repeating the experiment with different subjects. Don't forget to also plan for blocking by identifying any potential confounding variables and grouping your subjects accordingly. Finally, when analyzing your results, be sure to account for the randomization, replication, and blocking processes you've implemented. This may involve using statistical methods to adjust for any potential biases or confounding variables, ultimately providing you with more accurate and reliable results. In conclusion, the three principles of experimental design, randomization, replication, and blocking, are essential for conducting effective and reliable experiments. By incorporating these principles into your research, you can help ensure that your findings are valid, generalizable, and free from any potential biases or confounding variables. So, the next time you're planning an experiment, remember to keep these principles in mind and watch your research thrive. Thank you for watching this video on the three principles of experimental design. We hope you found it informative and useful in your journey towards conducting better experiments. Remember, incorporating randomization, replication, and blocking in your research will lead to more reliable and valid results. Happy experimenting!